Now more than ever, all eyes are watching North Korea and its leader Kim Jong-un. It's no secret that North Korea is one of the worst places in the world to live. The people there are starving and living in fear with zero freedom. Any outside attention that is permitted inside its borders is highly monitored and played out exactly how the government would want. Keeping up positive appearances to the outside public is a must to hide all the turmoil, poverty, and suffering the people of North Korea face each day. Over time, outsiders have been able to gather information about what really goes on there. Before before we take a look at these 15 insane facts about North Korea, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Kim Jong-il is a god. At some point, someone wrote an autobiography for Kim Jong-il, and inside those pages is content that's laughable to anyone who wasn't brainwashed within the borders of North Korea. Kim is depicted as a god and completely flawless. The biography states that he was born under a double rainbow and a new star. Apparently, he was able to walk at the extremely young age of three weeks. Not only that, the biography states that he's able to control the weather depending on what mood he's in. It definitely seems far-fetched, but if you don't know any better, this information is genuinely what the people might come to believe. Regulated Haircuts Having your own sense of style to dress, make up, and change your hair however you want is something that makes you uniquely you. This type of freedom is less of an option in North Korea. All men are strongly encouraged to copy Kim's style of haircut. It has to be no longer than two centimeters in length, and the women have to keep it above the shoulders. Women should emulate the style of Kim's wife. Essentially, look exactly like your leaders, whether you like it or not. Three generations of punishment. Keeping people instilled with fear, especially fear of punishment, is one of North Korea's best tactics in keeping its people in line. If one person commits a crime, then it affects all their generations to come. The person and their entire family are sent to a prison camp, and their following generations will be born and live there because of the crime. Crimes committed could range in severity, but one way you can get this generational punishment is for trying to escape North Korea. I will search that. The Pleasure Crowd. The Kipum Jo is a collection of groups of approximately 2,000 women and girls that operate in order to provide sexual pleasure to officials. They provide entertainment for high-ranking people in power and the head of state in North Korea. They also provide entertainment for the officials' families and sometimes invited distinguished guests. Technology is controlled. Living in North Korea is like living in a cage and having zero control over your own life. We can easily take for granted that we can look up anything we want on the internet or flip through our television stations with no hesitation. For the people living in North Korea, if they're lucky enough to have a television, they only have a choice between three different channels. Obviously, their internet access is extremely limited, too. The government clearly doesn't want the people getting any exposure to the outside world that might influence their thinking. Different calendar. Universally, the world seems to kind of go by the same type of calendar. There are exceptions for some religions, but the overall date and time is universal for all of us. In North Korea, this is not the case, and it's undisputed because the people don't know any differently. Their calendar actually starts the year after the birth of North Korea's founder, Kim Il-sung. For all of us today, the year is 2017. In North Korea, it's currently 106. The most heavily militarized border in the world. Border security. It's clear that North Korea Korea doesn't want anybody to get out. The border is one of the most secure borderlines in the entire world. It has 1.2 million military personnel. In comparison to South Korea, which has roughly 680,000 personnel, this is a big difference. If someone is caught trying to escape the country, they're automatically jailed and their life is never the same. With so many people working to keep North Korea enclosed, the chances of actually escaping seem slim. It's the most prominent feature of Statues the everywhere. Having your country looking good with beautiful architecture, monuments, flowers, and overall infrastructure is generally normal. North Korea doesn't exactly follow the norm, though. There are roughly 34,000 statues of Kim Il-sung all over the country. His face and presence are constant everywhere, as well as Kim Jong-un's. Meanwhile, roughly only 3% of the roads are paved for the whole country. The priority of the people being first is clearly out the window, and the expectation to just be in awe at the leaders is the primary focus for the public. They have their own time zone. Being completely independent from the world, North Korea even decided to reinstate its own official time zone. This was quite recent, and just emphasizes where the government is at in terms of the rest of the world. The time zone was created in 2015 and is known as Pyongyang time. The time is 30 minutes behind South Korea and Japanese time. Pyongyang time was used before Japanese rule, and now has become the official time zone yet again. Elections. His victory is presumably sealed. 
The people's freedom of choice and government rule are quite a joke in North Korea. An election takes place every five years, and everyone has the right to vote. The funny thing is, the ballots only include one candidate to vote for. So what is the point of the election, really? It seems to be there to give off the impression that the people really are choosing who to be in power. They're brainwashed into thinking that their leader is the greatest. Therefore, who else would they even consider choosing, right? This place really is corrupt. By Hennessy, the Kim was one of their best customers, with orders- Kim Jong-il drank a lot. Cognac was his drink of choice. He drank an insane amount of it and had a huge collection. The cost of it was no issue for him, and he reportedly spent roughly $720,000 US per year just on cognac. The average North Korean's yearly income didn't match this whatsoever. His cognac expense was nearly 800 times the annual income of the average North Korean. Designated living areas. When we say the government literally controls everything, we mean everything. Pyongyang is an area of the country where only a select group of people can live. They're known as elected officials and the elites. You literally need permission to live in that area. You need to be extremely healthy, extremely loyal, and the government must trust you immensely in order to post you up in Pyongyang. Invasion Inside talks. The secret state of North Korea. There's no question that North Korea is majorly prepared for the worst. Four tunnels underground are officially known of as of today. It's highly possible possible that there are many others just not known yet. If an invasion to the south was to be done, the soldiers are so highly trained and there are so many of them that it would be a major danger. It's scary to see how much power this country could actually have if they wanted to branch out. Legal Weed this is perhaps one of the most surprising facts about North Korea, considering everything we know about the country so far. Weed is actually completely legal there, and is known as leaf tobacco. You can sell and consume it with no problems. The plant grows along the side of the road and is smoked regularly. The soldiers especially like it, more than cigarettes in fact. Now you wonder how these residents are really feeling inside. They must be going insane. Any type of X-rated material sends you directly to correctional prison camp. They're able to get material passed around through USB sticks, but it's rare as there's limited access to everything. People have reportedly even been executed for having these types of materials. It can also be viewed as something that entered from South Korea, which is really taboo. We're no dictators, but check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.